Greetings YouTube and welcome to one of those videos that's full of rumor and who knows what to believe so we got to say off the top to be as responsible as possible that there are cases where it's obvious why people are getting bans. They're using programs like Blue Stacks, they're doing mods, hiring mercs, whatever. Um, but to be blunt, some people have contacted me today worried that Kabam's new software, which they have teased, and they weren't going to say the exact date of implement implementation, but they did say look out for it soon. And it would seem based off of Dork Lessons video in the timeline that was communicated by the Kabam development team that this would make sense that this would happen. But basically, here is what a few people have reached out to me to tell me that they have some uh, members of their alliance, some officers, that sometime help them move an alliance quest while they're asleep. Now, technically, is that breaking the terms of service? Yes. But they've been doing it for years, and some people are in alliances where the time zones don't match up, so, like, let's say you've got three or four people across the pond that are moving at the same time and they need a node down and somebody is from the United States and they are fast asleep or, you know, flip that. Well, they'll log in, they'll move, clear the node, and then go back. Um, some people might be outraged by those comments just now to think that that is possibly happening, but I think it is uh, fairly common from everything I understand about many alliances. So... Um, a couple people have said, and we're just going to go down because this has been a 160-hour uh, temporary ban. Now, sometimes temporary bans turn into permanent bans. So there's really no way to know if this is going to be the only ban until the 160 hours expires. But what's fascinating to me is when you scroll down and look at these comments on this thread, uh, you start out by saying, Friend of mine used Bluestacks to play. He played legit, no mod, downloaded from Play Store. He plays like that for over a year. He was starting Arena Grind when he got hammered today a few minutes ago. Okay, that seems pretty black and white, right? Okay, well, use Bluestacks against the terms of service. That's why he got banned. Boom. But then you scroll down and you see, did you share your password with anyone or run any shady software? <laughs> did you buy your account? Same thing happened to me. Got to work, logged in on my phone, VPN enabled, joined Alliance Quest, did one fight, lost connection, reconnected, and banned. So this comment is honestly what I've heard from a few people today that got them this ban. And I don't know if the VPN connection is the reason. I don't know if Kabam assumes that you're going to log in to do, say, your Path of Alliance quest under a certain VPN, and if it is under another one, you just automatically get banned. I, I don't have the answers for you. I'm just telling you what I've been told. And when people contacting me contact me with stories, there really isn't a way to necessarily verify things. I can just say, this is what I've been told. Um, take it for what it is, right? I'm not telling you what is fact and what is fiction. I'm just telling you what I've been told. So, log a ticket, just did so. My recommendation would be to be polite and inquire if there was an error. If it wasn't, ask for a recommendation on how to avoid this repeating. Um, same thing happened to me. Same ban for six days. I never used any emulator. Didn't participate in the gifting event. Never used any third party since I play on iOS. Their response was generic. They have a large number of tickets regarding this issue. Literally just happened to me. Was on the final boss of 545 Mephisto. Came to Reddit to see if anyone had this since I don't break the terms of service. And ta-da, here you are too. Same thing happened to me. I finished exploring Variant 1 Act 2 and Variant Act 4 Act 2. Got back home and started the game and got the same message. Have you logged a ticket in their support team? Um, and then, as a lot of people are still stating, no one accidentally gets banned. Kabam have just banned anybody who has this using Bluestacks or Nox. Never used any of those. Stop making things up. Response I get from them. Okay, so... There are uh, two different narratives to this ban terms of service. There are the, these people are clearly using some kind of classic uh, software that gives them an unfair advantage. And so no wonder why they're getting banned. And then there are also people who are saying, I swear I've never done that. But the only thing that maybe I will admit to 
is that in the last 24 hours, I had somebody log in and move for me in Alliance Quest. Now, could there be reason number C? Of course. I just am passing on to you the multiple people who've reached out to me to say they have friends that this happened to or their own Alliance mates. And they, as far as I can understand, have never been banned before. And they've always done the same thing that they've always done. So maybe this is nothing at all. Maybe they're lying. Or maybe this is Kabam stepping up and trying to do some temporary bans for technical breaks of the terms of service that they've just always looked the other way on. All I know is that I wanted to get this information out there for you to understand without claiming what was true and what was false, for you to see the comments on the post, and for you to know what people have told me, and, and for you to come to your own conclusion. I think my job is to put this out there, but you know, not jump to anything. So what do you think? Have you seen this yourself, or do you think it's just a case of more emulators uh, finally being caught. Either way, looks like Kabam is continuing to do what they've said. And that's if they feel like an account is breaking their terms of service, they will not hesitate to temporarily or in um, quite a few cases this year permanently ban the user. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this below. Thanks for watching.